To issue a refund application, choose the refund option located in the upper left of the dashboard and click on Refund Application. Next, a new tab displaying previously issued refund applications will open within the application itself. To issue a new one, click on RA Issue located in the upper right and a new tab will open, displaying a brief summary of the RA to be issued at the top as well as the form for creating the new RA. To create it, you have to fill in all the required fields. First, select the airline from the airline code name drop-down list in the airline information section. The system will automatically populate the rest of the data within the airline information and airline contact. You can click on Show Details to see also the airline's address and telephone. Once the data is completely entered, you must access the Details section and fill in the following mandatory fields. Reason for refund. Statistical code. Passenger. RTDN issue date. Airline and document number. In case that there are conjunction tickets to be refunded, they can be added by clicking on Add Conjunction Tickets. If you fail to fill in any of these fields, the system will notify you of respective errors. Please note that waiver code and the coupons are not mandatory. If the RA was an exchange, then you have to tick the Exchange box and fill in the information of the original issue. Next, in the Form of Payment section, you can add the following information, if applicable. Tour code, customer reference, e-ticket authorization code, currency, if more than one is available. Additionally, you can add the applicable form of payment by clicking on Add Form of Payment selecting the corresponding one and filling in the requested information. This information will vary depending on the FOP selected. Finally, in the last section, Amount and Tax, enter the required amounts in the fields shown. Gross fare. Less gross fare used. Enable if partial refund box is ticked. Commission. Discount amount. Enable if net reporting box is ticked. Cancellation penalty, tax on CP, miscellaneous fee, tax on MF, commission on CP and MF, ISO tax code and tax amount. More taxes can be added by clicking on the Add Tax button. Once all the applicable fields have been filled in, you can issue the RA by clicking the Issue button located on the floating header in the summary area. If there is an error, the system will notify you that the RA cannot be issued and that you must review the errors. After locating the errors and correcting them, you have to click on Issue again. If the RA is successfully issued, a model window will appear providing the new RA number generated together with a short summary. For more information, please refer to the user manual on how to issue a refund application.